Ethiopia is home to a beautiful natural landscape, a long and world-renowned history, and a mosaic of culture that has enchanted visitors from all over the world for centuries. Ethiopia is a cradle of humankind. Its modern history dates back to Queen Sheba. The country is very diverse and boasts a variety of colorful natural, historical, and cultural attractions. Ethiopia is commonly referred to as a place of paradise and is well worth visiting and experiencing firsthand. Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa, is often referred to as a living museum where different ethnic and cultural tribes live together in peace. Here, we will discuss the tourist resources of the Amhara region. We will take you on two routes, the northeastern and the northwestern roads of Addis Ababa. We begin with the Blue Nile River, the beautiful Blue Nile Gorge, and the Renaissance Bridge built on the Blue Nile River in the northwestern direction, 200 kilometers from Addis Ababa. There are a number of ancient historical churches and monasteries in the East Gojam zone. Among them are the Dima Georgis, Debrewark Mariam, and Mertola Mariam which are all located north of the Blue Nile Gorge. The Bahra Georgis Lake, beautiful landscape, and the breathtaking mountain of Choke are also found in East Gojam. A variety of agricultural products grow in the fertile soils of Gojam. Gojam is home to many original and interesting indigenous cultures. Four hundred and thirty five kilometers northwest of Addis Ababa, or one hundred and twenty kilometers south of Bahardar, is the Awi zone, home to many natural falls, lakes, and old caves. The Awi zone is also a place of cultural value. Awi people wear a particular type of dress and dance in a unique fashion. The Awi Horse Association hosts a cultural event which falls on January 23, Ethiopian calendar, every year. Continuing north, 548 kilometers from Addis Ababa is the beautiful city of Bahardar which lies at the southern edge of the largest lake in Ethiopia, Lake Tana, and the west of the Blue Nile River. Some attractive features of Lake Tana include 39 islands, 19 monasteries and churches, at least 14 species of fish, and more than 53 species of birds. Among the many foreign tourists in Bardar, one German expressed his excitement about the city and lake by saying, Bardar is a magnificent city. It is our favorite place in Ethiopia. Bardar has a lot to offer. It has got many advantages. It has got a beautiful Lake Tana with its monasteries that are absolutely fascinating. It has got a very nice atmosphere. The flowers are magnificent in the streets. The food is delicious. It is really our favorite place here. If there is one city that you should visit in Ethiopia, it is Bayadar. If there is only one stop you make in Ethiopia, 
please make it by Adar. Hotels are comfortable and it is a very pleasant place indeed. The most beautiful city we've seen in Ethiopia. There are nice hotels and lodges along the shore of Lake Tana and in the center of the city that provide clean and satisfactory services. The United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon stayed at one of the lodges in 2011. According to His Excellency Mr. Ban Ki-moon and his guests, the hotel was very comfortable and inviting. The Ethiopian Prime Minister Mela Zenawi expressed his appreciation for the hospitable character of Bahardar city as follows. <laughs> At present, conference venues and sport tourism are growing more than ever in Bahardar. The Blue Nile International Convention Hall, across from the Blue Nile River, and the Bahardar Stadium enhance the tourism industry in Bahardar, in particular, and regional tourism development at large. The regional, religious, and business tourism industries are growing as well. A tourist destination near the city is the Blue Nile Falls, or Tis Isat in Amharic, which are located 30 kilometers southeast of Bahardar. There is also an ancient bridge called the Alalata, which is believed to be the first bridge that was built along the Blue Nile River. The bridge was constructed with the help of the Portuguese during the 17th century. It is located near the falls and attracts many visitors. An American congressman expressed his astonishment about what he has seen in Bardar and Ethiopia at large. To see the origin of the Blue Nile, is uh, a scriptural um, uh, 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 experience. <laughs> Next, the ancient city of Gondor, which is located 728 kilometers north of Addis Ababa, and 180 kilometers north of Bahardar is home to many historical, cultural, and natural resources. Gondor served as the capital city of Ethiopia before Addis Ababa more than 200 years ago. Gondor has many unique and architecturally beautiful castles which were built in the beginning of the 17th century. The architectural culture of Gondor is reflected in the ancient buildings of the city. Among foreign tourists who have visited the city, one French woman said about the hospitality and beauty of the city in the following way. Gondar is a beautiful city and I like it so much. I like it also the people, the food and uh, the kibuna. <laughs> Timket or Ethiopian Epiphany, which falls on January 19th each year, is celebrated on a large scale in Gondar. The holiday celebrations are famous in Gondor and draw people from all over Ethiopia and abroad to attend. The city's first annual carnival festival began in 2011.
Next, we have the Semin Mountain National Park, 115 kilometers north of Gondar. In addition to incredibly breathtaking landscape, the park is home to a variety of endemic fauna and flora species. The Walia ibex is among the special endemic species in the Semin Mountain National Park. <laughs>